Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can add the weights to your scatter plot chart. So if you have seen my previous video where I have talked about how you can create a scatter plot like this where you on the y axis you have the total unemployment or on the x axis you have the median time for the unemployment for the year 2013, 14 and 15 and we have seen that how we can differentiate between visually how we can differentiate visually between these three years by using the uh, parameters within the jgplot uh, command so that we are clearly able to identify that here in 2013 since it is appearing here at the top where total employment was high and then in 2014 it is going down and in 2015 it is completely reduced a lot so that shows basically how uh, governments are taking measures to reduce the unemployment though the caveat is that for 2015 we have the data only for four months that means jan feb march and april i'm just uh, adding it i don't know in the background uh, whether this is jan or this is jan but the idea is that you have four data points each is representing a uh, one month so so what we want to do right now is that uh, we want to add a weight so that the size of these circles are changing based on the parameter that you are specifying. For example, it may be based on population since maybe your management is interested in knowing that uh, when the uh, when what was the population size when these unemployment was uh, getting impacted or maybe it was personal saving rate or maybe it was personal consumption expenditure, the PCE. All of these parameters are available to you to play around and look what, what is meaningful to you. So let's start it with the writing the command about how you can do it. So ggplot and um, you need to get this, this data set which is for three years economics underscore L3L and we have seen in the previous video how you can get only the three years making a subset. So if you have not watched that video I will really encourage because whatever work we are doing here is based on that previous video. All right, so after that, what we need to write is aesthetics and on the x-axis, uh, we want to take median unemployment time, which is U, U, E, M, P, M, E, D, and on the y-axis is total employment, which is unemploy. All right, and now the parameter related to the weight we need to add is size. So what we are indicating here is what should be the size of these circles based on different parameters available, whether popular, well, population, whether personal con consumption expenditure or personal saving rate. So let's say here in this case, we want to specify PCE, which is a personal consumption expenditure. After this, we want to mention that we want GEOM underscore point and we want to specify the shape is equals to 21, which is circle. Otherwise, it will come as the uh, dot, a proper with filled dot. So, see 21. And then maybe on the labs, we can specify what information we want on x-axis and y-axis. So, on x-axis, let's get uh, uh, whatever it was. Median unemployment, um, unemployed time and on the y-axis we want to get is the total unemployment all right let's see what it gives so as you can see um what we got is the circles but it is not colored so what we can do is uh we might have forgot to add a parameter which is fill is equals to an ear once we do that we get our colors all right now it is more interactive as compared to the previous one so as you can see in 2013 right your unemployment rate was high and these circles which are very small or as you as compared to what green circle or this blue circle is indicating that the personal consumption expenditure was less well that is what the expected behavior is However, in cases like this or here, it was relatively less, but not as compared to the, this because here the unemployment rate was really high and slowly it is improving when the total unemployment is coming down. As you can see, circle 
size is a little bit increasing and it has increased a lot over here and in case of 2015 it is further increased because total employment is coming down and that's why the personal consumption expenditure is going up so in that way you can really go ahead and add the weights to your uh, to your circle now let's try with something else so maybe here in case of pce let's try to add a psavert which is nothing but personal saving rate so once you do that pretty much the same picture but little bit high because people are saving a lot uh, saving rate has increased here and as here you know you are seeing little bit odd behavior that unemployment is less even that you know personal saving rate is less and and so on and so forth so this is how you can add a weight to your circles and get more and more meaningful pictures by keep on adding the information to your by, with the help of parameters and keep adding the weight so maybe the next thing you may want to do is is uh, specifying population or any other parameter which is part of your data set and make it your chart more interactive and more visually appealing and interpretable for your end user.